Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Azik and welcome to my last Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video. Yes, I said last guys. This is going to be my last Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video. In fact, I already made a Black Ops 3 Tips and Tricks video and if you didn't see that, then uh, go to the description guys. There will be a link to that video where I cover the ways... Uh, or basically give you some tips on how to win more gunfights, but not about that guys. We are taking a look at the Thunder Tusk Elite version of the IMR, which I think is the best uh, version of this weapon because uh, with this uh, variant of this weapon, you get plus 3 accuracy, which uh, gives it plus 30% of a view kick, which makes this weapon pretty much non-kickable, so basically you don't have any recoil you know, adding uh, adding a foregrip would definitely just, you know, maximize it and may just make it a freaking laser weapon, but that's not recommended, that is not necessary, so you don't really have to go for a foregrip. Now, uh, we still don't want to talk about the attachment because I haven't covered everything that this uh, variant has to offer us. So also you get a reduction in the handling, guys. Uh, not big of a deal, you know. You're not gonna really hip fire with a uh, four-round burst assault rifle because this is this weapon is medium to long-range gunfights. With the reflex sight, this weapon is deadly accurate. But on the gameplay, you can see me rocking the iron sights with some UAV. Uh, so yeah, uh, and basically uh, the use of the uh, Plus three accuracy is also a good thing because, uh, for, look, first of all, there is no need of the foregrip. Second of all, you don't have to run the toughness perk. So you don't have to run the toughness because you're not going to get as much kick as, as you would have got if you didn't have this variant. But with toughness and foregrip, you know, it's just going to become like, you're just going to be a freaking terminator. But uh I would rather go for some different perk, for example, the Blast Suppressor or something else, uh, because that is going to be useful and that's an efficient way to use your uh, pick 13 system points. Uh, so, minus one in handling is not a big of a deal, you're not really gonna hip fire with this weapon. Uh, also, there is a reduction in the magazine size, so you're gonna have uh, minus eight bullets. Now, I believe, uh, yeah, it is 28 as you can see, so. With the normal, there is 36 bullets per clip, and in this one it's 28. An extended magazine attachment is recommended to run on this setup, uh, but you know it's up to you guys. If you feel that you can run and take out enough people for you with uh, 28 bullets in a magazine, then that's fine. You can definitely do it. You know, I'll just give you some tips, guys, making sure that you know everything you should know about this uh, variant. So I believe this is. Like, with this variant, this weapon is the most accurate weapon in the game, like, from the assault rifles and the SMGs categories, you know? Um, not talking about shotguns or sniper rifles, of, of course. So, yeah. Uh, you know, basically, let's go for the attachments. Now, I would recommend going for the quick draw grip and the extended clip. Uh, really, nothing more is needed on this weapon. Uh, in terms of the secondaries, you could run whatever you want. Usually from Black Ops 2, I I had that little habit to run a secondary pistol, a powerful pistol, if I'm running a, a burst assault rifle. So uh, in this case, we can use the RW1, which is probably the best uh, secondary pistol in this whole game, in this multiplayer. Uh, then for the perks, guys, of course, lightweight or uh, I don't know, whatever, what, 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 whatever you want. Uh, but I would go for the lightweight uh, in terms of the perk re2, uh, peripherals, or you could go for ghost. Uh, you know, I don't know, like, it's up to you, but I would really like peripherals because, you know, the minimap coverage is a lot more bigger and I can see a lot more. That is a lot more better for me. And of course, for perk 3, guys, we're gonna use the uh, scavenger and the blast suppressor. As I said, we don't need to use the toughness. And, yeah. So, those are for the perks. Uh, in terms of the exo uh, lethals, exo, all, all that kind of stuff, exo abilities, like, it's all up to you guys. Like, do whatever you want, use some exo abilities, you know, it, it, would, it would be nice. But what I would recommend, guys, is going just for two score streaks, you know, system hack and the UAV, uh, basically. And, you know, just save up some points and use them for something else. You, know, you still have a couple of points, I believe, for uh, maybe a new perk or maybe an attachment for your secondary weapon or maybe even 
an exo uh, lethal or two so guys uh, that has been it for this episode uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the breakdown of this variant uh yeah so we're finishing the series with the 20th episode of the exo oh my god what did i just say exo uh, with the advanced warfare tips and tricks we are starting the black ops 3 era the advanced warfare era unfortunately is co has come to an end and in just a little bit less than two months, we're going to take our hands on the Black Ops 3, and I'm gonna have, believe me when I say that, I'm gonna have a lot of videos about Black Ops 3 when the game actually comes out. So guys, support the series, check out all the episodes in the description, guys, I'm gonna have a link to the playlist, and yeah, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.